What's up everybody, Dylan here with another theme park obsession video. It's been a few days, uh, I was out of state visiting some family, but I'm back in Southern California. And uh, let's just go ahead and kick it off with a construction update from uh, the Disneyland Resort. And I'm on top of the Mickey and Friends parking structure right now, so let's go ahead and see what's going on with this brand new parking structure and see how much they've done in the past week. You know, shout out to the construction workers because they are just knocking this thing out. It is insane how fast they've uh, constructed this structure it's it's nearly done like in a few more months this thing will be ready to go for you guys to park in and it's amazing how fast they've been able to do this um, i haven't seen a parking structure be built this fast in a very long time i've seen it done before but um at this scale i don't think ever um this is this is awesome they've done a, done a great job and you can tell that mr mouse has been paying these guys overtime to get this done because Star Wars is just a few months away and they're gonna need all these extra parking spaces. This parking structure fills up all the time. Uh, if you guys are linked up to the Disneyland Twitter, um, they tweet all the time that the parking structure is full. So this new parking structure is gonna be an awesome addition here to the Mickey and Friends complex. So, um, and it's gonna look nice when it's done. So I can't wait. And this new pedestrian bridge too that they're building um, is also moving along really nicely. So I can't wait, it's gonna be exciting. Let's go over to the back side of uh, Galaxy's Edge over here real quick and see if anything exciting has changed. I, I mean, it doesn't look like it from when I drove up. It just looks like uh, kind of the same story. There's still a lot of scaffolding up, but some of the scaffolding that's been up around the older rock work is now taken down, which is really nice, it looks like. Um, but I can imagine that they're just doing a lot of interior work. And if you guys haven't seen those uh, shots of the interior from, this, from these new attractions, go check them out because it looks amazing. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is going to be an amazing treat uh, next year. I can't wait. This is going to be something that the entire theme park industry is going to be you know, having their eyes on. This is great. I can't wait. So now that we've taken a look at that, let's go ahead and uh, let's actually go ahead and jump on the monorail and get an overhead look at that uh, Brantley, or Brantley, that newly reopened uh, queue line for the Matterhorn. They just opened that up a couple days ago. So um, let's go ahead and check that out uh, with an aerial view and then uh, take a look at a ground view. On a side note, I'm going to be here, I'm actually filming this on a Tuesday, Thanksgiving week, so um, if you're coming to the park for the holiday week, just be in mind that it's probably going to be a little busy because it is crowded today, and I'm sure it's going to be crowded up until the end of the new year, uh, or up until this year and then into the new year. God, I just can't talk today. So what's cool about this new queue line is they've changed it so you don't really wrap around the mountain much anymore. Um, you kind of just, you know, go all up in the front of the mountain, which is a lot better uh, than before. So now, instead of lining up in the back and causing all the crowd control they do for the parades and stuff, it's just a lot easier to have everyone in the front. So um, yeah, this just opened up a couple days ago. And um, yeah, it's actually really, really efficient. Yeah, I like it. I like the change in the front. It's a lot better than, uh, than before. So yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. Yeah, like I said, it's a lot easier to have the queue line in the front of the mountain now. Because, um, yeah, when they do, like, parades and stuff, it's just, it's, it's a lot easier to have everyone in the front. Um, so, yeah, I do, I do like the change. It's a lot better than before. Um, and if they do need to expand the queue line, then they will wrap around a little tiny bit, but not as much as before. So, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, the Matterhorn's back open here at Disneyland. So, next time you're at the park, be sure to check it out. Um, looks great. Looks better than ever. The Matterhorn's one of my favorite rides, so it's nice to see it back open again. All right, let's go ahead and finish things up with the Tiki Room construction. Let's see if they've uh, changed anything over here. I don't think uh, much has changed since my last Disneyland video, but let's go ahead and take a look. So yeah, nothing too earth shattering going on over there. It looks like they're just finishing up that piece that um, is still behind the walls um, over here by Jolly Holiday. And I think uh, they're gonna start putting up those um, awnings that used to be above the tiki room like waiting area so hopefully they'll put those back up because they do provide some really good shade especially when 
it's the beginning of the day and it does get pretty sunny over there. But yeah, so uh, we got parking structure today. We got the back edge of Galaxy's Edge and we took a look at the um, the Matterhorn queue, which was really good. So yeah, I think that's gonna actually do it for that uh, Disneyland video. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell if you're new to the channel and hit the subscribe button because I have videos every single week from Disneyland, Six Flags, Magic Mountain, and of course, Universal Studios. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time in the parks. Bye.